Now, French far-right leader Marine Le Pen is embarking on a three-day visit of Senegal after touching down in Dakar on Monday evening. Le Pen was runner-up in last year's French presidential election and only 6% of French citizens living in Senegal voted for her in the second round. So the thinking behind her trip is still somewhat opaque. For a closer look at what she's hoping to get out of the tour, we've got our man in Dakar, Sam Bradpiece. Marine Le Pen's visit to Senegal is shrouded in mystery. On Monday morning, she published an opinion piece in which she said that Africa should have a permanent seat on the UN Security Council. And she said that Senegal in particular would be more than up to the task of representing the African continent in this forum. She also said that France should develop stronger ties with Senegal and notably that France should do more to develop innovative agricultural practices here. She also said that France should do more to tackle emerging diseases on the African continent. She said that all of these issues would be raised during her visit to Senegal. But here's the thing, Marine Le Pen's press team have refused to disclose her agenda. They've refused to say who she will be speaking to during her visit. An aide at the Senegalese presidency told me he had no idea that Marine Le Pen was even planning a visit. And a spokesperson for the Senegalese presidency told me that there were no plans for Marine Le Pen to be meeting with Senegalese President Macky Sall. So what's actually going on here? Why is Marine Le Pen visiting? Many have speculated that this is part of a long-term effort by Marine Le Pen and her team to reframe her as an international statesman, to reframe her as someone in a kind of presidential-like figure, someone above the domestic squabbling of everyday French politics. But the truth is, we simply don't know.